can't believe I've officially become one of those guys on their phone in the gym. I refuse to take a selfie though. Ever since I was a little kid, I dreamt about going to the Olympics. And now I'm getting my chance. And the best part is, you get to come along with me. Join me as I get to live out my dream job. All right, what's going on guys? I've got a radio hit in about five minutes, but I thought I'd take that five minutes and talk to you for a bit because I've been getting two questions over and over again ever since we started this vlog, Rob's dream job. Uh, question number one, did your dad actually cry when he found out you were going to the Olympics? Yes, he did, because my dad's awesome. Uh, second question I've been getting a lot is, can you explain what's going on with the KHL? and whether or not they're going to be going to the Olympics. At this point, we don't know if Russia is going to be competing in Pyeongchang because of the statewide doping scandal. We're going to find out on December the 5th, that's when the IOC is going to make their decision. In the meantime, everyone seems to want to get involved. KHL president Dmitry Chernyshenko throws out this threat that they're gonna pull their players from the Olympics because Russians are being unfairly targeted. So double IHF president Rene Fasel comes out and says, nope. Can't do that. You're part of the Russian Ice Hockey Federation, which means you have to release your players. So the KHL goes to their lower house of parliament and asks them to prepare a bill to back them up. And Hockey Canada CEO Tom Rennie, along with the Finns, Swedes, and Czechs, signs a letter to the KHL asking them to allow their players to play. Time to go on the radio. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Good morning, guys. Uh, as you can probably tell with these videos, I'm a bit of a multitasker. I like doing more than one thing at once. That's why I'm doing cardio and answering one of your questions, which was left uh, by Dave in the comments on the last episode of Rob Street Job. And it was a great question. He basically wants to know who's eligible for Team Canada. Uh, let's go through the list, Dave. Obviously, you know NHLers. If you're on an NHL contract, you cannot participate in the Olympics. Now, what about the American Hockey League? Well, if you're on a two-way contract, or if your NHL team sent you down to the minors, you're not eligible. However, if you're just on an AHL contract, you can participate in the Olympics. But the American Hockey League said, you're only allowed to be released during Olympic time, so they can't participate in any of the pre-Olympic tournaments. Okay, what about junior players, as in the Canadian Hockey League? Here's where we don't necessarily have a clear-cut answer because they are technically eligible to play. However, as of me doing this cardio session right now, um, they are still negotiating the CHL and Hockey Canada to release some of their players. Obviously, the World Junior Hockey Championships comes into play as far as do they want to release their players for two tournaments? How long do they lose them for? How do they lose them for the Memorial Cup? A lot of issues that, to be quite honest with you, Dave, still haven't been resolved. And of course, you got pro contracts around the world like the KHL, the Swiss League, the Swedish League. Um, they are welcome to come, at least right now. Keep those questions coming, guys. We really want to hear from you. Drop my phone.